foot steps. I'm going to start with this. My 428. My Piccadilly. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's got this plunger with slats in the bottom. What does Tupperware say to do with that? Oh, I'm going to tell you. They say go ahead and go dump in your jar of pickles, your jar of olives, your jar of jalapeno peppers. Then when you want one, go and lift it up and swivel it around. And the juice is strained through the slats in the bottom so your fingers don't smell like <laughs> when you pull out that plate. <laughs> That, my friends, is Dixie Longgate, America's number one personal seller of Tupperware, and you can see why she's so successful. For sure. Absolutely. That clip should give you an idea what they call, why they call this show, Not Your Grandmother's Tupperware Party. For sure. We are thrilled to be here with Dixie herself. She's on tour all over the country. You can see her at the Marcus Center for the Performing Arts for just the next couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and be sure to stay tuned because we're going to be giving away tickets in just a few minutes. Dixie! Hi, Dixie! So nice to have oh, you. Oh, I'm so happy to be had. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I, I'm Tupperware obsessed. It's I don't know the if they best. told you that uh, before you visited no, today. No, but who wouldn't be? It's the best crap on the planet. Yeah. I love it. It's been, we're celebrating our 65th birthday of the Tupperware party actually this year, so this month. So it's real great. It's be, I mean, you know, everybody's had it. Your grandmama had it, and then it just, you know, and it saves stuff, and it lasts forever. Everybody's got a grandmama that has something that they scribble a Sharpie on, like, mm -hmm. stick, keep your hands off my crap, hooker. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so nice because you don't want to get stolen at the church social. No, or for oh, sure. No, Lord, that's the it. worst place for people to steal your Tupperware is at church. I know. They're all like on their knees, like screaming Jesus' name, and then they steal your plastic bowl. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> You gotta put it on the bottom with put a piece on. of masking Absolutely. tape. Absolutely, it's that's why true. You get but it this back. is different than your grandmother's Tupperware and, you party. You know, a lot of people that thought that you know, people think of Tupperware is oh, it's sort of the old tired bowls and stuff. It is so innovative and it's gotten so good. I mean, the reason it's lasted for so many years is because they're always innovating, they're always creating new stuff, and always you know, responding to the consumer demands. He's talking a minute ago <laughs> about like the berries. Strawberries. We have this this stuff called Fridge Martin. I don't have it with me. It's amazing. It'll make your stuff last at least three times longer. Yeah, because nobody likes that fuzz. It's on. Um, Strawberries. Oh, my Lord, looks like a little teddy bear. You're like, who the hell put a teddy bear in the damn fridge? Oh, don't you? And you, then your kids go want to beat them. You're like, get out of the fridge. And, uh, but they're not teddy bears. They're bad strawberries and stuff. This way, if you get them, you put them in the fridge smart. It's amazing. I wish I wanted to show you. You have a little slider thing, and then it lets them breathe. Because fruits and vegetables need different amounts of air to breathe, and that's what it keeps them left. For sure. Who knew? And that's you crazy. have, speaking of uses for Tupperware, I mean, there's some, like, basic, like, this is a pitcher for water or for juice, but you have oh, kind I of alternative margaritas. uses for I Tupperware. I water. I would have been, I always said margarita. Well, I didn't know Tupperware was supposed to be in the kitchen for the first two years I was selling it. I thought it was for the bedroom. So I would get <laughs> stuff, and I was like, hey, you know, what's that? I can imagine then, what use these oh, for then. Oh my lord, these are amazing because, well, a bit, you know, use like a weekend supply of condoms fit in it like that. <laughs> I, you can also apparently put things like um, half an onion. Who <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get on the shelf. So forget me not. So smart. Little things like that and you would never think about, oh, you got to hang your half an onion or a half tomato or like from the recipes in it because when you cut up something and then you put it in a little bag of your tinfoil and gets lost in the back, if you hang this on the shelf, oh my lord, it's right there. So when you right. Open the see it. You're like, oh, that's what they call it. Forget me not. Shut up. These are the <laughs> smartest people in the world that people come up with. So you could really buy all this Tupperware at the end of your show. Yes, everybody gets a catalog and an order for them. We have a great time at the program. And then at the end, if you want to, you can buy some stuff. And see, we have a lot of it. And you can take it home with you. And you'd be like, oh, you can drink right in the car with one of my sippy cups or something. I mean, it's so <laughs> perfect. But yeah, but it's, you know, it's more than just a Tupperware party when you come to the show. It's just, it's games and prizes and raffles and all mm -hmm. the stuff that you'd come to love and know at a Tupperware party. But I, you know, I jazz everybody. Up. I get everybody excited. We dance around and sing. You bring them up on stage. I sure do. It yeah, there's audience participation, yes, right? Yes, because, you know, when you go to a Tupperware party, it's a party. You want to go up and have fun and get on stage. And, have, and so I make sure people get off their hands and have a good time because I'm that kind of a giver. Yeah. <laughs> I thought there was a child up on stage with you, but it wasn't. It was just a small woman. It's a small little woman, maybe eight. <laughs> and children, really, it's not really a children's show. It's not. Uh, well, you know, kids don't really need food storage. They don't. So uh, they usually they say like 16 and older because we have a good time, you know. But we're, we're all adults. We want to sit down and have a good time and talk about food storage and fun stuff. Is that we don't want mm -hmm. little kids getting in the way. Like I said, they're sticky and they get on stuff. And you're like, can you leave? I don't even know if you're my kid. You know, stuff they're like sick, that. They're sick. They're right. sick. They're right. Right. And then if you go on a date, they're like, what's sticking to your leg? Oh, it's a child. You know, yeah. you don't want that. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No, no, you Speaking don't. of the children, you left your three children in a trailer park, I right? Do, yeah, they're back in Mobile because I don't want them with <laughs> 
<laughs> they just get in the way. So this <laughs> way, I come and do shows all over the place, and then I come home and see him, and they're like, "Hey, Mama, look what didn't get set on the fire." You know, things like that. Yes, it's, oh, it's always a relief. But nice. I'm, my friend Georgia Jean takes care of him when I'm gone. She is just a neighbor. She's How so do you sweet. keep your your figure like traveling? Because you know, mm -hmm. it's it's hard to it like is hard. when you're traveling, you eat a lot of food that's not so good for you, and you look great. And in margaritas your dress. aren't so great for sweat. your waistline. Well, yeah. If I thought, well, if you have a lot of sex, it burns the calories off, which is good. <laughs> but also, I use my Tupperware products because then instead of eating out all the time, I get some stuff at the grocery store and put them in my Tupperware. And oh my Lord, it does make a huge difference. Because otherwise, yeah, I know you got to eat healthy these days, right? Mm -hmm, That's for sure. I, I do what I can. I'm only one woman, but I work real hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you keep your amazing stamina? I mean, you're doing the show is 90 minutes. Is yeah. that correct? So uh -huh. there's no intermission? No intermission. Once I get started, I just like put the batteries in. I just you don't go. stop. Oh, well, I have mm -hmm. no time to stop. I'm very busy. And you know what? It's I, I think it's so much fun. I get on stage when everybody's having a good time and cheering along. It's the easiest job in the world. Just I'm, I, I'm a, a party for a living. That's the best thing in the world. Mm -hmm. It's like a shot girl, but <laughs> it pays better. <laughs> <laughs> and just really quick, when you were a kid growing up, did you always dream of one day selling Tupperware? No, or? I just wanted to stay out of prison. That was my whole hope when I got up, come from where I come from. But uh, no, you know what? I started, the, my parole officer was the one who said, you need a job, you know, in order to get your kids back. I said, I don't want the kids. The job is okay, but the kids, take them. <laughs> and, uh, and so, but she suggested Tupperware. And I didn't know, like I said, I thought it was all bowls and crap that your grandmama had. And then when I found out how great it was, and I went to my first Tupperware party, and the drinks were free. I said, I'm staying. And this is a good job, right? It's the best job on the planet. I love it. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, who would have known? I think so, too. I'm not sure who what this is for, but I imagine that people are going to have to come to the show to see it. So we're going to give the information how to come and see Dixie and join her Tupperware party because it's only going on now through Sunday, May 26th. So that's not much longer. you got to call the Marcus Center box office at 414-273-7206 or go online at marcuscenter.org. Or you can be lucky caller number 7 right now to win tickets for this Saturday, the 18th. Call us at 414-799-4444 to join Dixie during her Tupperware party, and maybe she'll bring you up on stage. You never yeah, know. Never know. I know. Oh, Just don't Lord. bring your kids. <laughs> Make them at home. They're yeah. loud, and they stick to things. So, <laughs> so nice to <laughs> thank have you here, Dixie. Thank you so thank much you, for hon. bringing me Appreciate on. you getting up so early and doing your hair and everything. Oh, uh, it looks was fantastic. not easy for I any of us. I had sex yesterday, and it just picks it right up <laughs> after that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Stop.